Among the four civilizations in the world, Mesopotamia, Egypt, China, and the Indus Valley, which one do you think is the largest geographically? Did you guess it right? It's the Indus Valley Civilization. This civilization is known for its great impact on the use of land and the design of urban environments. But this civilization met its end due to a problem that the modern world also faces today. What could it be? Let's find out. Hi. Welcome to our channel. As we continue to explore one of the world's civilizations, we'll fuel your knowledge of ancient world history, specifically during the time of the Indus Valley Civilization. Historians and scholars debate over what really caused the decline of this civilization, with migration and invasion often mentioned. But apparently, this is not what really caused the Indus Valley's decline. Before we begin, why don't you tell us below what your guesses are as to why the Indus Valley met its end? Type them in the comments below. First, let's get to know the rich history of the Indus Valley civilization. The Indus Civilization, also known as the Indus Valley Civilization or Harappan Civilization, is the oldest urban culture in the Indian subcontinent. It thrived around 2500 to 1700 BCE, with some southern sites possibly lasting into the second millennium BCE. Among the world's earliest civilizations, alongside Mesopotamia and Egypt, the Indus Civilization was the largest and most widespread. The Indus civilization comprised two major cities, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, as well as over 100 smaller towns and villages, many of which were relatively small. These two cities were likely around one mile square in size, indicating significant centralization of political power, possibly in two large states or a single empire with multiple capitals, an arrangement seen in later Indian history. There's a possibility that Harappa succeeded Mohenjo-daro, which suffered severe floods multiple times. Harappa had an estimated population of 23,500 to 35,000, while Mohenjo-daro had 35,000 to 41,250 residents. The southern region of the civilization, including the Kathiawar Peninsula and beyond, appears to have developed later than the major Indus sites. Compared to the other civilizations, the Indus Valley civilization was much later discovered. In 1856, British colonial officials, overseeing the construction of a railway between Lahore and Karachi in present-day Pakistan, stumbled upon a significant find in the Indus River Valley. While working on the project, laborers discovered numerous well-preserved ancient fire-baked bricks scattered across the dry land. These bricks, numbering in the hundreds of thousands, appeared to be quite old, and were used unknowingly by the workers to build the railway bed. Among these bricks, the workers also discovered stone artifacts made of soapstone adorned with intricate artistic markings. At the time, the significance of these findings was not fully understood. The first major excavations did not occur until the 1920s. It was only later revealed that these railway workers had inadvertently uncovered the remains of the Indus Valley Civilization, also referred to as the Harappan Civilization. The name Harappan was derived from Harappa, the first excavation site in what was then the Punjab province of British India and is now part of Pakistan. Initially, many archaeologists mistakenly believed they had stumbled upon the ruins of the ancient Maurya Empire, a dominant empire in ancient India between approximately 322 and 185 BCE. Later on, Remnants of the civilization were found in several locations, including Sutkajan Dor in southwestern Baluchistan province, Pakistan, near the Arabian Sea, and Ropar in eastern Punjab state, northwestern India. Further exploration revealed its presence southward along the west coast of India, reaching the Gulf of Kamat, and eastward to the Yamuna River Basin, north of Delhi. This makes it the most extensive of the world's three earliest civilizations, despite Mesopotamian and Egyptian civilizations starting slightly earlier. Researchers are continuing to gather information about this mysterious civilization, and although much remains unknown, significant progress has been made since its rediscovery. The civilization's roots appear to trace back to a place called Mergar, situated in the foothills of a mountain pass in present-day Baluchistan, 
Western Pakistan. Archaeological evidence indicates human habitation in this area as far back as 7000 BCE. Are you more familiar with the Indus civilization now? What fact is the most interesting to you so far? Tell us in the comments below. Now let's talk about how this civilization further evolved. The Indus civilization is believed to have developed from neighboring villages or earlier communities, adopting the Mesopotamian approach to irrigated farming. They skillfully utilized the fertile Indus River Valley, managing the annual floods that both nourished the land and posed a threat. Once they established a stable presence on the plains and solved immediate challenges, the growing population likely led to expansion along the riverbanks as a natural progression. The civilization primarily relied on agriculture, supplemented by trade, though the specifics of this commerce remain somewhat elusive. Crops like wheat, six-row barley, field peas, mustard, sesame, and early forms of cotton were cultivated. Additionally, remnants of domesticated animals, such as dogs, cats, humped and shorthorn cattle, domestic fall, and possibly pigs, camels, and buffalo have been found. The Asian elephant might have been domesticated too, with its ivory tusks being widely used during this time. Around 2600 BCE, the once small early Harappan communities had transformed into significant urban centers, including Harappa, Ganariwala, and Mohenjo-Daro in modern-day Pakistan, and Dolavira, Kalibangian, Rakigari, Rupar, Lothal in modern-day India. In total, over 1,052 cities and settlements have been discovered, mostly located in the vicinity of the Indus River and its tributaries. Mohenjo-Daro, believed to have been established in the 26th century BCE, emerged as the largest city in the Indus Valley civilization and one of the world's earliest major urban hubs. Situated west of the Indus River in the Larkana district, Mohenjo-Daro showcased remarkable sophistication, featuring advanced engineering and urban planning. Harappa, a fortified city in present-day Pakistan, housed approximately 23,500 residents in well-designed houses with flat roofs made of red sand and clay. The city covered an area of 150 hectares and had fortified administrative and religious centers similar to those found in Mohenjo-Daro. Harappans displayed advanced architectural skills, constructing dockyards, granaries, warehouses, brick platforms, and protective walls. These sturdy walls likely shielded the inhabitants from floods and possibly discouraged military conflicts. In contrast to Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt, the people of the Indus Valley civilization did not build large monumental structures. There is no definitive evidence of palaces, temples, kings, armies, or priests. The most substantial structures discovered might have been granaries. Mohenjo-Daro notably featured the Great Bath, a large public bathing and social area. The people of the Indus River Valley civilization made significant technological advancements, particularly in precise measuring systems for length and mass. They utilized fire-baked bricks that were consistent in size and resistant to moisture. These bricks played a vital role in constructing baths and sewage structures, indicating that the Harpens were pioneers in developing standardized weights and measures. The uniformity of brick size across different cities suggests a unified approach, reflecting the cohesion of the civilization as a whole. This ancient society, classified as a Bronze Age civilization, excelled in metallurgy, working with metals like copper, bronze, lead, and tin. The Harappans also practiced intricate craftsmanship using semi-precious gemstones such as carnelian. The Indus Valley civilization seemed to be a very thriving civilization. How did such a vast and rich civilization end? Around 2500 BCE, the Indus River Valley civilization started to decline as inhabitants moved eastward toward the Himalayan foothills. They transitioned from living in large cities to residing in predominantly small farming villages. By 1800 BCE, the majority of Harappan cities were nearly deserted. Over time, even the villages in the foothills experienced a decline. So what caused this migration?
One theory proposed the invasion and conquest by a nomadic Indo-European group called the Aryans, although recent evidence has cast doubt on this idea. Many scholars now lean towards the belief that climate change played a significant role. Some experts suggest that the drying of the Saraswati River, starting around 1900 BCE, led to significant climate changes, while others argue that a major flood might have impacted the region. Starting around 2500 BCE, changes in temperatures and weather patterns in the Indus Valley resulted in a gradual decrease in summer monsoon rains. This made agriculture near Harapan cities challenging or even impossible, according to Liviu Jowson, a geologist at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and the lead author of a paper published on November 13, 2018, in the journal Climate of the Past. The research indicates that based on DNA evidence, winter monsoons became stronger, while summer monsoons weakened during the later years of the Harappan civilization, aligning with the shift from cities to villages. Jowson explains that although it can't be definitively stated that the civilization disappeared solely due to climate changes, the increasing influence of the Indo-Aryan culture in the region, marked by the introduction of Iron Age tools, horses, and carts, likely played a role. The winter monsoon is believed to have been a significant factor in these changes. One surprising finding of the research is the widespread impact of this climate change. During this period, a new ice age was setting in, causing colder air to move down from the Arctic into the Atlantic and Northern Europe. This shift pushed storms into the Mediterranean, leading to intensified winter monsoons over the Indus Valley. The story of Mohenjo-daro Zend, on the other hand, is well documented and quite dramatic. In the middle of the second millennium BCE, the city was attacked by raiders who swept through, leaving the dead bodies where they fell. It's uncertain who these attackers were. This event seems to match the time and place of earlier invasions from the north, as described in the old Rig Veda texts. These texts depict newcomers attacking the existing cities of the native people, and their war god Indra tearing down forts like age wears out a garment. Regardless, one thing is evident. Before the final attack, Mohenjo-daro was already facing significant problems. The city had been hit by deep floods multiple times, submerging large parts of it. Houses were poorly constructed and showed signs of overcrowding. The ultimate blow might have been sudden, but the city was already in a state of decline. The fall of the Indus Valley civilization probably resulted from various factors, including environmental changes, geographical challenges, economic troubles, and social issues. The rivers drying up, natural disasters, weakening trade connections, and a declining social and economic structure are all believed to have contributed to the civilization's decline. What are your final thoughts on the Indus Valley civilization? Do you think that they could have lasted longer than the other civilizations, if not for climate change? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked watching this video, please give it a like, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching.